Hello, I am Terry Tripp. Thank you for joining me for 12 Empowerment Truths about Two Sons in One. I know this truth will elevate your life and show you how good your father is. Luke 15, 14, and 15 says, But when he spent all, there arose a severe famine in that land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. Empowerment truth number two. Anytime you join yourself to a system outside of the Father's house, you end up a slave within that system instead of a ruler. And that includes a religious system. Any system outside of the Father's house will produce a slave within that system instead of a ruler. The younger son joined himself to a native from the far country. The older joined himself to his friends who kept him working in the field. Both were born to rule, yet both ended up slaves because they joined themselves to a system outside the father's house. And in verse 29, we see a great representation of people in the church today based on this older son. Because you know the older son was just as messed up as the younger. In verse 29, the older son who stayed, the younger son strayed, but the older son stayed. However, they were both in want and in need of an awakening. They both had relationship, but they needed fellowship. They lacked fellowship. And in verse 29, we see that the older son said to his father, these many years I've been serving you. Boy, that sounds like a lot of church people today. I've been serving the Lord for 20 years, 30 years. I've never done this. I've never done that. I've never transgressed your commandment at any time. You hear the arrogance? I never transgressed your commandment at any time. I never drank a beer. I never smoked a cigarette. I never slept around. I showed up to church every time the doors were open, and yet you never gave me a goat. Do you hear the arrogance? So we see that he could not enjoy his inheritance because he was too busy keeping commandments. Well, that happens today. People pack churches, but they don't enjoy all the Father has provided because they're too busy trying to keep commandments. And this father, paraphrasing, said to his son, are you basing a seat at my table on your performance? Wrong. You see, the older son didn't need permission to, to have a party. It was his to freely enjoy, but whenever you're trying to keep commandments, you'll feel like you need permission to enjoy what the Father has already provided. You'll always be thinking, He loves me, He loves me not. Am I worthy? Have I worked enough to deserve? If it's your will, Lord, can I be healed? That's a sign that someone is a slave to religion and works instead of a ruler over the kingdom. If you feel you need permission to enjoy what the Father has already given you, then it's proof you're still working for something that's already yours. You don't need permission to have a party. It's all yours. You don't need permission to be blessed. You are blessed. Stop working to try and get something you already have the authority to release. The boy who stayed was a slave to religion. The boy who strayed was a slave to the system of the world. The younger son was a slave to the, 
to the environment of society. He was feeding upon what they told him he could have. And let me just tell you, you are settling for a lesser life than what you were created for. If you allow the world, government, culture, tell you what you can have and when you can have it. You're a slave if you think you must experience life on their terms. Recession, flu season, debt, social security. These are systems of the world. You are of another kingdom. You don't have to settle as a slave in society. You've been made to rule from the Father's house. So anytime you join yourself to a system outside of the Father's house, including religious, you end up a slave instead of a ruler. Why continue working in the field when you can join the party in the house? <laughs> Why be a slave in the pig pen when you were born to rule? No matter if you've strayed or if you've stayed, it all comes down to one thing, fellowship. You were born to fellowship with the Father and release His rulership, His kingdom in this earth. That is so powerful. And that is just one of the 12 empowerment truths that's in this brand new package, CD, book, other materials that will reveal Luke 15 in a way maybe you've never seen and definitely in a way that will elevate your vision to the goodness of God. Oh, I want you to have this. That's why I have made it super convenient for everyone watching to receive it. Are you ready? There is no set price. That's right, you heard correct. If you wanna make a donation, you can, but it is not required. All I'm asking is that you help us with shipping and handling, and it's just a few dollars. So pick up the phone, do it now. Come on, I'll join you, all right? Let's do it together. I've got my cell phone. Get yours out of your pocket, your purse, and let's dial the number together. Come on, are you ready? 615. Come on, do it with me. It's so easy. 260-4689. And it's only going to take you two minutes, and these materials will be on their way to you. If you get a voice message, leave your name and number. We will contact you at our earliest opportunity. You can also go to terrytrip.com and order from there as well. I want to get this into your life. Don't let this moment pass you by. I know it will empower your destiny, strengthen your faith, and supercharge your vision to how good your Father is.